Creating a topo surface subregion. In Revit architecture, we can create subregions, and these subregions are used for making different types of materials, such as a parking lot, or a sidewalk, or a patio. And so we can use these things to have them uh, separated. And we're going to go up to our model site tab. Um, excuse me, we're going to go to our modify site tab, and we're going to go to subregion. And we have to have an existing topo surface, by the way. And we only want one topo surface, not multiple. So I click on subregion, and it'll put me into the create subregion boundary. And I get these draw tools. And <clears throat> so what I want to do is I want to uh, draw, basically, uh, my subregion. And I'm going to draw with the line command. And so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on my uh, edge of my property here. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to come in and I'm going to go this far and I'm going to go over and I'm going to go over and I'm going to go over. And you can see my sizes aren't very big, but just for demonstration purposes here. Um, you can see basically here and I want to close these things so I will come back over and I'll uh, pick on the end of the line and then I'll finish the edit mode and now I've created a topo surface here uh, and if I want to edit it I can come up and edit the boundary All right and uh, So I can come in here and say, well, I want to move that over, or I want to change that. Let's go down to there, and I want to change that. I want to drag that down there, and I can say, okay, I edit that, and so we made a little change to it there. And uh, I can also pick on this uh, surface. When I pick on this surface you'll see that I have just this subregion selected. I go over to my um, instance properties and you can see I have material and I click on, on the material here. Uh, come on, come on, here we go. Uh, when I click on the material here, I scroll down and I can see the various kinds of materials in here and uh, these are materials that I have available to me at the moment and you know I'm kind of looking here and I'm saying uh, I might want to have some sort of uh, uh, asphalt I can search for asphalt did I spell it right? no that's probably why um, let's go with concrete and I'm not spelling that very well today too here we go. Concrete. Uh, let's go lightweight concrete. And I'm going to say OK. And it doesn't want to put a surface pattern on there. That's fine. And uh, so now I got concrete on there. And so now when I hit escape, you'll see that that surface is now a different color. And uh, so I can change the materials on the surfaces to match uh, whatever my needs are, like asphalt or, you know, bituminous, uh, you know, which is, you know, hot mix asphalt tar on the roads. So we can create different subregions so that we can have uh, various types of uh, materials such as sidewalks or driveways.